respect about Mombasa Island is the traffic jump. We always have traffic jam. Luckily, movement from one location to the other is very cheap compared to what we experience in other cities. Very affordable. Not really cheap, but it's very affordable. They eat from their uh, their soil. Mambo. Wow. Makapo. Mambo. Yeah. Say hi. hi. They, they speak English all, alone. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Say hi. 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 Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Go see go, go see Africa. Eh? Okay. I want to know whether in your country we have this crazy traffic jam. So at this point, I had to alight. You see? All the vehicles are moving. So I had to alight to stretch myself. Because we had, I had no choice. It's better that person using a, using a bike than myself standing to hire a tuk-tuk. The three way vehicle and we ain't moving. Nada, nada. So I'm noting that people here, every person here is so friendly. So go in a, I mean a hole whereby uh, it's so risky. Someone just warned me that I need to be careful of my camera. So it's a neighborhood whereby we have these rich guys. We have some expensive apartments on my side. Okay. I don't know where the ghetto boys are coming from. Waymaker. In Kenya, we appreciate graffiti so much. See that? Waymaker. At different times, I have seen the likes of Chris Brown, Drake, B posting Kenyan Matatus, yeah, with their graffiti. Africa before construction of Kibarani Bridge. Kama mimi ni melewa, usaza kwangu mwenyewe, akuni baba bako, wala ukuni pa wewe. Piga ngumi ukutani, mtaumiza mkono we. I can be a tara musician, right? I can do it good. Some clap for me. Mombasa nightlife.
the ocean, Indian Ocean. So now I wanna uh, I just prefer sitting at the upper decker. So we now walk into the fastest farthest end. The upper deca is still empty. So I'm lucky. early morning in Africa and uh, I thought we need to share about my first experience and first impressions in the port city of Kenya Mombasa Mombasa is, is an island now I arrived here in the evening and my first impression was that people always bought the ferry while running and uh, as if that was new to me, the following day I noticed that people still going to work boarded while running. And some people could laugh about it. You can imagine someone your entire life you have been living on the rush. You boarding to work while running, then coming back from work while running because you are competing on getting a space you know there is always that part one person who wants to sit um to go up into the upper deck and have a seat we have someone else who wants to uh stand in front at the lower decker so that at the time of alighting they be the first person and the first people to exit you know so it's always an in a competition yeah then the beautiful views, of course, that's the another impression, that's another experience you you would like to have. The beautiful uh, views of the blue waters, you know, the, of the Indian Ocean. Then um, I was heading to the sides of Diani. Then the other one, you, you alight the ferry, then immediately you are done with the exit. You made these Matatu guys. Um, calling you competing um, on uh, competing on whom to pick whom to pick yeah so they don't have um, an organized structure whereby this and this guy needs to pick so they have to call you have to call so whoever entices you best is the one you bought their vehicle yeah It'll be like lunga 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 quale diani all that for those who don't, Lunga Lunga and in the border between Kenya and Tanzania, whoever wishes to go to Zanzibar and Tanga. Yeah. So the other impression is the street food culture. 
in Mombasa, people like street foods. It's even more than what we experience in Nairobi. So people are selling um, the azikarai, samaki, and in Mombasa, the only um, point we have samaki wakupaka, fish marinated with uh, coconut oil. Yeah. The other thing is people are so much generous. People are so much willing to share with you. People are so much willing to show you um, direction. And they tend to believe so long as they, they trust you, people can uh, accommodate you at their space without, um, w without any questions, so long as you win their trust. That's the uh, number one. Wow, I'm gonna go in here. Remind them your name. Uh, she is Vanessa. I one day that road trip with her from Nairobi to Mombasa. You guys can remember her. She stayed beautiful. <laughs> so I had, I had to come and visit her. I had to say hi. Hi. So have you been? I'm good. Yeah. Still working. Oh, business is growing. Oh. So you have you haven't done doing what you are doing. I'd like you to complete. Yeah, no. yeah you complete first. No. Then you continue. No. Yeah, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Yeah, I'm not leaving. Because still we have street people. We have people living in the streets. But what surprises me is that you find someone seated um sleeping in the streets but their beddings are very clean yeah you find someone sleeping in the streets with white bed sheets but I, I didn't understand whether these people are homeless or they just chose to be there because the humid level here is so high and there is always that one person who wishes um to be outside to avoid that humid level yeah to, to avoid, um, to reduce the, um, let's say, the heat. Yeah. So it's time for breakfast. I want to be taking my breakfast. Chasa. I mean, to stop in the mambo, I mean, dear, I just said, I'm going to cry out in the camera. So once again, it's breakfast time. When I enjoy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm loving the hospitality in Mombasa. Mombasa, Mombasa. I wanna be. Uh, I don't wanna disclose the location I'm at. But if you know the location, comment. Comment the location. If at all you have been to Mombasa, I have a special attraction, special attachments to islands. You know, Caribbean island made me recognized I won't call myself famous I want to say they made me famous but they made me recognized so that's a special attachment with islands I'm not a fan of tea, but I usually take it when consuming something. It's 
like it's a chaser <laughs> Where are you watching me from? The other uh, impression is the culture of cassavas. While in other cities we eat crepes prepared from potatoes, in Nairobi they do it with cassava. Cassava crepes, and they are more expensive than the potato crepes. Let's talk about the public um, transportation. The Amatatus have loud music, good music. They are luxurious. They are not expensive as in other cities. They're cheap. You find someone commuting from um, Mombasa town to Mtuapa, to ferry like in ferry they charge only 20 bob 20 30 that's so little if it were in Nairobi they would be, you'd be charged three times that price mm -hmm. but Nairobi is the capital city The other impression is um what the buildings yeah their buildings are painted all white and blue another day around the sun so let's take a trip around this beautiful island of Mombasa <laughs> Most of you will get surprised that the city is painted blue and white. You think you are somewhere in Greece. <laughs> you think you are in Santorin, Greece. Mm -hmm. Who has ever gone to Santorin? Can relate with Mombasa. Another impression, yesterday night I was boarding that ferry um, and to my surprise I thought it could reach a point they divide the number of people be like oh you are too many so you don't need to you are not going to board all of you but instead they were forcing us to board be like oh we still have more space so you guys get inside and for sure, everyone got inside and still we had more space to carry out thousands of people. Mm -hmm. It's a cultural week. So at the Mombasa showground, I could see many cultural groups committed to showcasing what they have. If you are in Nairobi, um, you 
could be wasting someone's time telling them we need to go and showcase this and this. But in Mombasa it's different. They are proud of their culture. Someone leaves their work, they leave their, um, their comfort zone to go and market their community. Before I proceed, I want to mention or recognize some special people whom I worked with in the course of my trip to Mombasa. We have Shabi. Thank you so much, brother. Shabi from the Black Joe for the facilitations. Then we have um, um, Van Media TV. Van Media TV for um, the connections, brother. Yeah, I remember at the time I wanted to get someone to edit Machiavelli's music. Then Van Media used their airtime to reach out to those producers and um, I was given much respect I was given um, the attention I wanted because of uh, Van Media yeah uh, Big Up, Conqueror yeah, the editor and um, Mlole yeah, a very famous musician for Mombasa, big up to who oh, else? Yes. Oh, David Natasha, the self proclaimed president general. <laughs> Another impression about this island it always rains in the morning and in the evening. I don't know whether it's something so common always happening or it's just happening. Now, when I'm here, because now it's early in the morning, we just took a breakfast and training. Yeah. In the evening, we expect still it's going to happen. So yesterday, I was filming at the Mombasa Cultural Festival, the cultural show. And um, it reached a point that the show stopped for, for a moment. I even stopped filming because um, the the weather was so gloomy, so, so cloudy, cameras were not clear, see at the field there was nothing taking place. I even never captured where the models um, were walking to the ground. Yeah, we have yes, some models uh, competing on who to be Miss and Mr. Um, Mombasa festival you know the models were even rained on at the grounds you can imagine someone with their makeups with their best attire getting rained on 